Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're making a blueberry streusel cake and you don't want to miss it. But first, let's back up to earlier this morning and see what took place this morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife today. It is January 21st, Friday, and it's about 7.20 a.m. It's currently 65 degrees in the house, so I did crank the heat up just a little bit, and um, I have a feeling we'll have a fire in the fireplace pretty soon because outside, it's going to be in the 20s all day, and that's really cold for me. <laughs> um I don't have my glasses on, so I feel like I look weird, but anyway, um, today we get chickens back, and I go and help with that, except for today, because we got a little bit of a dusting last night, and I mean a dusting. I'll, here, let's go look. I'll show you. Hang on. We got a dusting, and when I mean a say a dusting, I mean a dusting. See, a dusting. Anyway, since we got this dusting, the daycare is closed. And Caroline's got to work. Jamie's got to work. Which means I will have the boys. Which also means I won't be helping with chickens. Um, thank goodness we have an employee that'll come, that's coming. And he's going to help Bryant um, with all the chicken stuff. Uh, however, Bryant can fix anything on the farm. He does you know, all the manual labor. I do some of the manual work with the chickens on a regular daily basis, but nothing difficult. He does all the difficult stuff. Um, I do a lot of, uh, after we get done working with the chickens, I do a lot of paperwork. So when the chickens come, they also come with paperwork and Bryant has no clue what to do with that paperwork. So when they're done, with the chickens arriving and placing them in the houses and making sure they can reach the drinkers, making sure everything is where they can, they're comfortable. He will come home, we'll switch off and I'll go over there and do the paperwork. So, um, so I got the boys today, which means I can do some cooking today. Um, some bacon, I'm going to do some bacon today and we're going to see how it turns out. And even though we, I don't have my new stove yet, um, we're going to use this one and uh, hopefully it'll turn out okay. And, um, and yeah, we got more snow supposed to come later this evening. So just, I mean, not much, just a little bit. So it's going to be a fun day with two little boys running around here and getting chickens. Anyway, Brian has actually gone to Lowe's now to, um, get a tool to work on something over the chicken houses. Um, so yeah, our life is start is getting back to normal. We've been without chickens for about a month, and that's normal. And um, so we're our our routine will be back starting tomorrow. And um, so yeah, it's it kind of feels good to get back into your normal routine, even though the break felt really good too. Um, so I'm gonna go find my glasses so I can at least see what I'm doing, and. Um, and then eat my first fueling of the day and wait for the boys to arrive. Oh me. Okay friends, so I've got myself presentable and the boys are hopefully watching a movie and hopefully you can't hear it in the background. Uh, but we may be interrupted a little bit, but that's okay. But today we're gonna make a blueberry streusel coffee cake. And it is coming from the Taste of Home Farmhouse Favorites. And I am super excited about this recipe book. Look how excited I am about this recipe book. So, this is actually the first one I'm trying out of here. And I'm super excited about it. So, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is have a half a cup of softened butter. So, I've left this sitting out and I was running my dishwasher. <laughs> So I sat it on the counter above my dishwasher and it doesn't get hot or anything, but it's just a little bit warmer than anywhere else in the, in the, in the kitchen. So 
I'm pouring that in, not pouring it, but putting it in my bowl here. I'll turn you down so you can see in just a second. All right, let me wipe my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, and to the butter, we're going to add three-fourths cup of sugar. And I've got my hand mixer out, and we're going to beat that up really well. I'm running me a sink full of hot water over here. To this, we're going to add one egg. In just a little bit, Judah and I are going to be making banana uh, muffins. And we will link that down below. I've done a video on that before. So we're going to add this egg in and beat that up. Okay, guys, and to the egg sugar butter mixture, we're going to add, uh, it's supposed to be whole milk, but for some reason, we just kind of gravitate and always grab the 2%. I'm not sure why, but you're my Levi. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to give this a beat and we'll be right back. Okay, also to this wet ingredients, we're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. And we're going to put in two teaspoons of baking powder. Now, I use salted butter, so I'm not going to add salt. But if you use unsalted butter, I would put a pinch of salt. Also, I'm going to add vanilla. The recipe does not call for vanilla, but I think vanilla is good in everything. You to get in there and watch Spidey or I'm cutting it off. Hey guys, since you didn't see what I just did, I poured in about a half a cup of pecans and a full cup of blueberries that I am folding in. I thought I was recording, but the camera was not going. But I have folded in a cup of blueberries and I gently folded them in like such because um, there's some of them are kind of soft. And I also stirred in first a half a cup of pecans, chopped pecans. So now we're gonna get the streusel topping ready. Okay, y'all, I've got, I have one attached to my hip right now. So, but we'll get started on the streusel the best I can. In here, we have a third of a cup of all-purpose flour, and we're gonna add to that a half a cup of sugar. And I'm just gonna take my measuring cup and do that around. We'll see if he'll go to Papa. Go see All right, and to this, we're going to add in a fourth of a cup of chilled butter that I have cut into little cubes. And now let me grab my blending fork and we're gonna cut this all together. All right, now I'm just gonna take my blending fork and cut this butter in the best I can. And I'm just rubbing it against the side of the bowl until it's making little um, 
little little pea sized stuff and I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'll bring you back when it's ready I have preheated my oven to 375 and I have greased a 9 by 9 pan and we're gonna scoop out our mixture here our blueberry mixture and pecan I don't know that I've ever seen a blueberry dessert with pecans in it maybe I have and just haven't paid attention I don't make a whole lot of blueberry desserts I'm sorry for the noise you're hearing. I have the little ones running around and being wild. Judah, 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 can you be quiet for me for just a minute and not roll that around so loud? I guess that's a no. <laughs> now he thinks being quiet means he's not saying anything. Okay, so to the top of this, we're gonna put our streusel topping on. We're gonna sprinkle it on. And we're going in a 375 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. And we're gonna have delicious coffee cake, blueberry coffee cake um, for this snow that may or may not come. Okay, it's going in, guys. I'll see you when we get it out. Okay, guys, it's ready to come out of the oven. Um, the timer hasn't quite gone off yet, but um, I want to get it out. And I got to do it before the little ones come in here. Y'all ready for this? Look at that. All right, I gotta test it for doneness and see if it's done. And I used to have a cake tester that somebody sent me and I used it all the time and now I can't find it. So in that case, I just take a, a thin knife and you know, my oven's acting up so we'll, this will be a back in for probably five more minutes but isn't it beautiful look here in that beautiful look how fluffy it rose up so she'll, 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 that's about three inches my fingers about three inches <laughs> Man, it's thick it's thick it's so good so we're gonna let Bryant try it and then I'm gonna try it but this will be our breakfast tomorrow there's one thing missing milk milk do what it's your breakfast tomorrow too? Yeah. Does that mean you're spending the night with Bubbles? Yeah. He thinks he is. What do you think? Really good. Really good. Light, fluffy. Can I have some? They taste nuts and blueberries. Got nuts in it. Isn't that weird? Have you ever seen blueberries with nuts in it? Can I have some? You sure can. Come here, buddy. Hey. You get the sweetness off the topping. I don't know if you coated it or what you did with it though. Special topping. Mm. <coughs> he wants a taste. Judah wants a bite. You want a blueberry with it? Yeah. yeah just, just, just. We don't know what he's going to say. Look at the camera and say, <laughs> say it louder. Phenomenal. 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 <laughs> you heard it right here. Pick the leather one up. We know he'll like it. <laughs> Mikey likes it. Look at his mouth. You can tell he likes food. Mikey likes it. Mm, mm, good. Mm, good. Right. Keeper. It's Look, a perfect. He's crying. He wants more. All right, Mom. Oh. That's delicious, y'all. So you got to try this. Can you hear them? They're wanting more. Okay. My little dirty mouth here wants more. So 
So y'all got to try this. It is so super good. <laughs> I've got the banana bread. I decided not to make it into muffins. Judah really wasn't into helping me. So I just made it into a loaf. So we'll have this blueberry coffee cake and banana nut bread. From Judah's getting him some more. So we'll have all that tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife. I've got to go feed some blueberries cake to these little boys. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Right here, buddy. Judah's not getting it all. Thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. There's some downsides and down things to cooking good. We've got screaming babies when you don't get it in their mouth fast enough. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.